Thanks for joining us, America. We got cut off from our guy in Iceland by the commercials there, so let's go back through that. If you are listening to me in a country that furnishes 100% of your college, then you would not need to save for college. Obviously, you're paying for that. As he said, it's not free. You're paying for it with your unusually high tax rate in a socialistic country. And uh, but that that you know you got free college or college that you do not have to cash flow. It's come you've already paid for it in your taxes is what it amounts to. So university, as it is called in a lot of countries, particularly European countries. Um, so yeah, you you uh, don't have to have a baby step five in that regard. You know, seven baby steps, baby steps four, five, and six. You do simultaneously. Four is saving for retirement. Five is kids' college. And six is paying off your home early. Now, what I would do is I I would want to know for college if there are any expenses that are not covered when you're in university. And if you're at university and, for instance, you'll need housing, you need to pay for your own housing because you travel to a you're not going to be living at home while you do do university, then you might want to save up some to cover their expenses that are not covered by government-provided university. But if it's 100% books, tuition, housing, food, I don't know. I don't know what it covers in Iceland. Um, But then you just don't need a baby step five is what it amounts to. Now, in a country where you have a... A differing uh, retirement type plans that does not give you permission to step aside from baby step four because baby step four is about you building individual wealth not to being dependent upon the government for all of your retirement and inheritance you want to retire with dignity wherever you are in the world and you want to change your family tree wherever you are in the world. And a godly man leaves an inheritance to his children's children wherever you are in the world. And that's going to require building wealth, which is going to require investing. And so your baby step four will stay the same. You might modify it depending on what the situation is, you know, and what's furnished and what's not. But, you know, for those of you in the United States, pretend that Social Security paid $8,000 a month instead of $1,100 a month, okay, at retirement, which is dog food money, Right. But, um, you know, pretend you had a, a fully funded retirement, $8,000 a month. You know, that'd be fully funded for most people, right? If the government were providing that, I would still want you to build wealth beyond that is what I'm saying. Because, you, you know, it's not just whether you can eat at retirement. It's building wealth. It's changing your family tree, changing your destiny, giving you the options to do things. So um, if you had an unbelievably healthy retirement plan furnished from the government, then I still want you to build wealth. So baby step four doesn't go away, but baby step five could partially or largely or completely go away depending on what uh, what of the university is covered. For for those of you in Iceland or anywhere you are, that that's the case. And there's a lot of European countries that that's the case. By the way, uh, just a side note. Daniel, my son, went to Iceland uh, about 18 months ago. Absolutely loved it. Says one of the best play, best trips he's ever done. If you ever get the chance to make the visit, I've not done it yet, but I probably will just based on Daniel's recommendation. He, he and some guys went, some buddies of his, and they completely loved the people, the place. Says so beautiful, just incredible. The northern lights and so forth. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. So highly recommend it. Now, having said that, I also get the other side of this is like, Dave, they get free college. They get free college. I mean, socialism is awesome. They get free college. Socialism is awesome. Well, there's two problems with your theory. One is it's not free because the tax rate is so freaking high. Like we're going, I had this happen in Sweden where we were going uh, on a wonderful tour with this lady going through Stockholm and she's telling us all the free stuff they get, free stuff this. I said, I got tired of it because I'm a capitalist. And I finally just said, freeze butt. What's your tax rate? Her personal tax rate was 72%. So freeze butt, okay? That's the government taking your money away from you, giving it back to you, and making you think you got something for free. Okay, this is socialism. The other thing you need to keep in mind is what the gentleman said. Iceland is a wonderful place. It is 340,000 people. It's the size of Knoxville. That's the GDP. 
okay? So it's a little different economic situation than North America, than the United States of America, okay? It's got the gross domestic product of Knoxville or whatever other small to medium-sized city that's not even in our top 100 cities in America in terms of size and economic production. So... Again, that's not that's not taking a shot at Iceland, but you just have to keep in mind that when someone says Sweden has free stuff, Sweden's economy is the size of Dallas. Okay, so you really, if you're gonna if you're gonna argue economics on these things on the other side, and that gentleman wasn't, I'm certainly not picking on him, and I'm not taking pot shots at this stuff, but I'm just taking pot shots at, at crazy left wingers who want stuff for free and they don't understand what free means. Okay, so you need to understand that the economic output of these things is. Uh, of these entire countries are, don't even equal one of our major cities in most cases. And, and certainly in population size, to look at that as well. So, I mean, they've got, some of them have gas reserves or oil reserves or pulling off the offshore drilling and other things. And so they got a little different environment, somewhat like a uh, an Alaska or something where you're getting checks, you know, uh, just for living there and that kind of stuff. But, but again, it's a very small economic analysis, and you cannot use that to extrapolate and go, oh, socialism's awesome, the United States ought to adopt that. No, we shouldn't. We're the, mo- we're the largest, greatest country in the world for a reason. It's because capitalism doesn't suck. That's why.